Hey guys, Julie here, and I've got Ms. Effie out with us, and I'm gonna make a video talking about how to use your trained dog's obedience to move them around the house or have them stay stationary, still included, but not constantly underfoot or constantly in the middle of everything. So right now, we've got Miss Effie on what we call the place command. It is a boundary, so we like to use the raised cot because it's such a clear boundary, but it could also be a dog bed, it could be a towel, it could be a mat. And the rule of the place bed is you're on there and you're calm and relaxed and you don't leave until you're either released or recalled or told to heal off. And that comes in really handy because it keeps our dogs calm, included in the room with us, but chill and relaxed and not off finding trouble. Effie had a bad habit of going potty in her house, in her apartment, um, and it was kind of driving her owner crazy. So by keeping her days pretty structured, she's not gonna go potty on the place bed. She's not gonna go potty in her kennel, right? So we need to keep this day structured to keep her successful and to avoid having accidents in the house. Now, when you're doing things around the house, cleaning, cooking, playing with the kid, painting, um, watching TV, I could sit on the couch right now and watch TV, we like to have our dogs in a stationary command, which is the place, or you can use a downstay. But if you need to move them, let's say I'm gonna go into the kitchen and I wanna have her with me, maybe I'm going to cook and I wanna have my dog in here with me, how am I gonna get her in here? Let me show you. All right, so Effie is over in the corner, right over there. And if I want to get her from there to me in a different room over here, I'm going to use my recall. And I'm also going to pair it with the tone button, which is this T button on the remote. So first I'm going to say her name so she knows I'm talking to her. Effie, come. Hit the tone. Good girl. Here she comes. That's my baby girl. Hi. Sit. She comes and she sits at your feet, down, and now you've got her in a down stay. So it's kind of just like the place command, only without the border. So it's a little bit more rigid, a little bit more difficult, but it's still a stationary command and it can absolutely be used around your house and should be used around your house as much as you want. So notice I can walk away. She's still remaining in that down stay. We proof this. Um, we can do setups by doing some knocks at the door. Who is it? Open the door. Oh, hi, nice to see you. If she were to make a mistake, because we're doing this as a setup, we've got the remote in our hand, we would say no, and we would click the remote, the black button, at a mild number. This is a good girl, right? This is a very good girl. So you guys can see how that downstay works. Now let me show you how I'm gonna get her back to the other side of the room. So again, you're just seeing how we're moving our dog from point A to point B without, we, we could be hands-free and without any fuss, without our dogs running the other way when we call them. Effie, come, good girl, here she comes. Now I'm gonna direct her to the place bed. Place, Yay. that's a good girl. She goes right on and she lays down just what she's been trained to do. I'm gonna show you one more really cool thing and it's a way to move her around the house in a follow. So we're gonna be using our off leash heel around the house. And some people might say, oh wow, a heel in the house? That's crazy, but it actually comes in really handy because you're able to move your dog around the house in a calm way. So watch this. I'm gonna say heel, I'm gonna tap the tone button and I'm also gonna tap my left thigh. Effie, heel. Good girl. And she's gonna find my left leg and now she's following me around the house. Wherever I go, she is following me. Comes in really handy if you just wanna move your dog in a calm way. And we can really, we can go anywhere like this. If you can get this nice and tight in the house, it's gonna help your walks outside as well. This feels really, really good. Now, when to use the e-collar. If she's lagging behind me, I'm always gonna tap my tone and that gives her a little boost. But she's doing amazing. Her position is perfect. She's Whoa. following me. Oh. There's distractions like little humans. We can go in different rooms together. Tone, Whoa. tone, tone. Good girl. That was a really good use for you guys to see of the tone. She didn't wanna come in the bathroom with me. So that was an opportunity for me to start tapping my tone 
and she followed me into the bathroom. So you can see how that works. And let's end with it by putting her on place. Place, good job. Good girl, Effie. I'm so proud of you, good girl. And if you wanna give her some free time, off commands and maybe it's time to play or interact with each other, you can go ahead and release her. Effie.